Hey YouTube folks, welcome to my channel and welcome to a new exciting journey that I hope will happen this time more often here. Uh, my name is Dippy and I'm a musician, producer, video filmer, technic nerd, racing drone pilot and overall a chaotic guy with a big passion for everything with knobs and buttons that can make sound. So, and this is probably why you are here, <laughs> the Electron Model Samples. Uh, if you love what you are hearing in the next few minutes, please subscribe and with a small notification bell, you can't miss any future video. And if you like the video, smash the thumbs up icon. If you hate it, that's fair enough. Hit the thumbs down button twice. So without further ado, let's bring this little lady to life. So a little bit about the sound routing that happens here. So you hear the electron model samples um, yeah, straight out of the uh, stereo output. With a little exception, the model samples right now goes into my SP 404 from Roland to my UAD uh, Apollo with a little bit unison, some kind of magic uh, on the input, but it's roughly uh, you hear the uh, electron model samples. It's and again, it, oh yeah, <laughs> it's a punchy machine. So uh, yeah, let's start in. Um, the only thing I did uh, in preparation for this video was to install the latest update. I think it was 1.01. .01. Yeah, and that's all. So let's start. So you see here, uh, I'm a proud Digitect owner. So most of the stuff in this machine should be very familiar, but I hope that this box for me and my setup is my perfect yeah, jamming box. So maybe I do a little bit more of sampling with the Digitect or using the channels, uh, the eight channels more for, for looping and, and, and stuff like that. And this is only for the drums. And especially I heard Electron were bringing out a battery pack for that. So this would be a, a very great addition. Uh, especially if you uh, use my SP404, which is also battery powered, uh, it makes a nice companion. So, yeah, let's start. So everything on this machine is, is uh, very well laid out. You have six tracks. Uh, you have your uh, 16 steps here. Nothing new. Let's start and bring this machine to life. I think I need to load some yeah, pattern. Uh, going here, so this is the project menu. Oh, no, 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 it's a config menu. Okay, okay, I have different steps, projects. Oh, I can click, fine, stock, load. Yes, let's go. So, from my understanding, you have six banks, 16 patterns per bank inside the projects, a lot of samples. So how can I get outside this thing here? Okay, one, two, fine. So let's start in. Um, yeah, bank A, pattern one, fine, play. Okay, velocity sensitive patterns on an electron machine is very, very new. So maybe, so it's, it's I have an uh, Archi MPC Renaissance. I have the Digitect, but it's, 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 it's quite a difference. So you need to push or hit the pattern, the pads very, very hard. But you have chromatic here, you can hear. Yeah. To get exactly the same volume, you need to hit very hard. Okay, let's 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 play with this baby. Ah, so come on. So next pattern. 
okay? Okay, so everything is well laid out. Um, I can... Okay, this is pitch for this track, maybe? Yeah, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Okay, so let's stop. So, pitch. Ah, okay. So, so it's very easy to understand. It's it's like a diggy tag, but all the knobs are in front of me. Um, yeah, pitch, decay, sample start, sample length. But I, I saw a few videos uh, that uh, yeah, you can't. Yeah, it's, it's very difficult to explain for for no one that or, or for 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 people that can't or, or never use an electron machine. Um, you can't sample lock or sample, yeah, sample lock uh, uh, different samples uh, for each step. Uh, you can do this uh, with the Digitec. I, I hope this is the right explanation. Uh, sample locking, uh, uh, makes sense. Um, but you can uh, change the sample start and I saw one video um, where you can split or your chain, you make a sample chain and inside this uh, chain you put uh, yeah, 120, you have 120 steps and you put yeah, divided by 12 for instance, 10 seconds or you have 10 uh, 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 parts, uh, each is 10, 12, which makes 120, oh man. What a mess. Yeah, but but it's you can do that. Um, but yeah, let's play, play, play. So I think the first or the most fun thing for me is yeah to make track all. So track all means track all means I, I hit this button and then I can change all the parameters uh, of this uh, pattern. Uh, to make it really absurd sound, collage, whatever. So let's do this. That's, that's nice, that's nice. Okay, so this is absolutely fun. <laughs> This is this okay okay so so one function I, I saw this in, in other videos so if you hit function and pattern which me, which means reload pattern you can put the pattern into a safe area it's like the digitech but if you hit function and pattern you reload everything so which means I can crazy beef up uh, the whole pattern and then with one uh, a change function pattern I can bring everything uh, back to normal. So let's do this again. <laughs> this makes fun. This makes really, really fun. <laughs> Woo. Okay, <laughs> this, this is fun. So, yeah, so this was uh, uh, yeah, putting everything or, or changing everything on the whole track. You can 
yeah, maybe, yeah, it should be. You can make this uh, per track. So let's, let's put the bass drum into more reverb. That's quite interesting. I think the reverb sounds actually different than the Digitect reverb. Okay, next pattern. So I need to, to uh, investigate this later. So what do we have here? Uh, pattern three and boom. Oh, nice, 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 nice. I, I think the samples itself are coming most uh, from uh, Splice. Well, I heard that. But yeah, in a later video, yeah, definitely I need to put my own samples into this machine and hopefully pair it with the Digitech and pair it with the uh, SP44 because the cool thing is you have MIDI channels what I saw on each track it puts all the notes you play here on the MIDI channel out and you need to mute the uh, sample here but you can then chromatically um, hit the MIDI note on a different machine. So, so the main idea is to use the uh, model samples for drumming and then my Roland SP404 or the Digitect for yeah more sophisticated sample mangling, for instance. So let's play. Reverb. 
just a little bit of time uh, when the machine takes over the value that I set. And playing over. So, yeah, let's go into a different pattern. So fun. Yeah, you have that on the Digitech too, reload pattern, but in a in a live yeah jamming session this is really really fun. So let's go to the next one. I'll only quick check a different uh, pattern here, stock pattern. Check this later. Volume distortion. What I mean is that. What can I distort? Mm -hmm. Okay. Distort. Okay. But this one. Chance. Chance. So this means I can chance the whole pattern. So let me check. Let me check. Uh, it's a little bit worse, so let's bring it back. So let's make chance here. Oh, nice! So this is new, so this is not possible on the Deggy Tag. Wow. So this is 50% chance on the whole track on, on, on each step. All tracks make sense, or I like that one. <laughs> okay, chances that's that's cool. 
samples or how can I do my own thing so okay this is sample so melodic okay melodic drums okay so it's only the sound I hold the whole directory okay so six samples in the directory ah makes sense so beef 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 okay back melodic drums no back 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 factory ram okay i need to check this later ambient m tech bouncy darker dub tech glitches let's see yes Okay, this makes sense, okay. Six samples loaded from the machine. I messed this one up, maybe. 
Let me check. Yeah. I messed this one up. Blasting. Okay, long press, load. Okay. Boomy, bounce, glitchy, jazzy. Organic, melotech. Yes. that hard okay so yeah first of all <laughs> a very very fun machine so yeah um, let me check a few videos let me check uh, a few yeah maybe I should read the manual for the fine stuff but you see so I didn't uh, uh, saw any uh, or, or looked any videos a lot uh, this is very, very easy to understand how the whole machine works. Uh, maybe as a non-Electron user, you need to get your head around the uh, step thing and the conditional tricks and, and parameter logs. But at the end, everything is well laid out. And yeah, so maybe I play a little bit more. So, okay. Yeah. Fine, fine, fine. So, yeah, uh, I think, uh, yeah, that's enough for the first exploration of the new Electron Model Sample Box. Yeah, only a few beats, uh, checking the things uh, I will do, uh, yeah, tomorrow, maybe in the beginning of the next week, uh, definitely a more deeper look into the machine, especially how can I get my own samples in it and how I can control other machines. And so stay tuned and I hope to I see you in the next video. Double peace over and out.